I am in the mud. Oh, uh, don't worry, it's mostly just cow poo. Good morning, guys. The mattress went down in the night. Repair failed. But on the upside, Lavi seems to be making coffee. Can you see me guys? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Are we ready for a, another day on the TED? Let me think about it. Yes, I'm ready to hit the trails. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 15 on the Trans Euro Trail and we're riding all the way from the south of England through Wales to the border of Scotland. And we're here in mid Wales. We stayed at this amazing little campsite, which was like the same price as like all the other campsites we've had so far on the trip, but with just way better facilities. Yeah, guys, if you're around this area and you want a nice campsite, check out this campsite. It was so nice and the owner was so friendly too. We were able to have a shower. We were able to wash and dry our clothes. We were able to charge up all our camera batteries and drone so it was a very very successful pit stop but we have a super exciting day ahead so let me show you guys where we're heading today so we have made it all the way around to here in Wales so far and today we are going to be following the trail around this headland here and into this area the Snowdonia National Park but guys, I'm so sad that it looks like that our climate sleeping mat is unfixable. Seriously, I patched it up now four times and it still goes down. So I think we have to push through and just like sleep on the ground until the end of the trip. <laughs> and that's still quite a long way to go to be waking up on the ground every morning. But yeah, I don't know what, we, what more we can do to be honest. But anyway, I'm really happy because it's dry at the moment. Yeah, the rain was forecast to come at like 10 a.m. already. Currently, the weather forecast here in Wales is always wrong. So you have to think always the opposite. You could still almost guarantee that it will rain at some point in the day. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, embrace the rain because it is already 11.20 and we have a long way to go. So better hit the trails. Let's go. This area here again, you know, is so lush, stunning, man. Really, really stunning. I'm so impressed with the nature of Wales. We're getting views now right down to the sea over there. And I had a look on the map and that is Cardigan Bay and that goes out to the Celtic Sea and on the other side of this sea is Ireland. Yeah, I might can see it even, hey? I don't know, is that Ireland or is that just the bay? <laughs> and here's some cows on the hill. And we've actually just entered the start of the Snowdonian National Park. Oh my God, look at this. Wait a minute. I think I'll go up this one. Wait a second. Woo! 11 horsepower let's do it <laughs> i don't know where i should go up here actually just straight oh my god <laughs> i don't know how to get, get up here actually it's massive maybe i will just go here on the side i think i'm stuck I'm stuck. Oh, okay, hold on. Did you get beached on a rock? Yeah. Let me just move the rock behind you, but you should be able to just roll back. Wait a second. And go. Wait, three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay, have a little look and see what I do, okay? Yeah, because I, I, I'm, I'm stuck there with my tire. So, but... so you've got to wrench it backwards, yeah? Go back enough so that you can get a little bit more of a run up. When you want to go backwards, you've got to do this. You've got to put the brake on like that and then let the brake off. See, and that gives you momentum backwards. I thought about it too much, you know, and then I'm stuck. 
Okay? Okay. I'm looking there and then I'm sort of like going there even though I don't want to go there. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> Would anybody like a mud bath with a beautiful view? This is luxury stuff right here, lovey. Oh my goodness. Oh no, okay. Mm, I think you should go through the stream or round further round because where I am is not good. We're gonna have to push this bike out of here. I'm not even gonna try going any further at the moment. I am bogged. There you go, you're making it round. I am in the mud. Oh! Actually, I may have to push as well. Okay. I can't sit on it because it's going to be too much weight on it. Okay. So we're going to have to both push yeah. whilst I rev. Ready? Okay. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. go. Oh. Oh. Okay, good. God. Don't worry, it's mostly just cow poo. <laughs> good to hear that. So now we know, don't go through the muddy bit with loads of like cow hoof prints in it because that's pretty deep mud. But hey, look at these views over this bay. It is spectacular here. You can't really look at them for more than like a split second because the road is ridiculous. But anyway, it's a nice view some of the time. It is. cows. Wow, those are some really big cows. Whew. Well, they don't look too happy that I'm here. It's okay, we had a plant-based burger at McDonald's, guys, all right? We had a plant-based burger. Gate number, I think, 10 or 15 for the day already. Yeah, this area has a lot of gates, but still nice views. Just getting on and off and on and off like a thousand times. But imagine if you were on your own. We met a guy at the campsite from Netherlands called Johan, and he's actually following the Tet as well, and he's ahead of us, and he's doing everything on his own. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, that's like, oh. oh god, I think I scratched my brake even more. Guys, we have a crazy, crazy downhill here. Look at this. This is just ridiculous. But then again, it is the Trans Euro Trail in Wales, so I am not surprised that it is nearly unrideable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to keep pressure on both brakes and just keep rolling down and just keep paddling with my foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too, I just, uh, oh, whoa. Bloody hell, Harry. Wow. That is some kind of a hill, hey? You know, you're on the top of the hills and everything looks quite sort of nice and fluffy, you know? <laughs> Soft and nice with the sheep and then you come here down here and you get to this rocky bit you know which will just destroy you and your bike yeah and nothing looks steep around here all the hills look very gentle and rolling apart from where the road goes but that is steep and harrowing jesus christ <laughs> okay 
What a nice workout in the morning, hey? Yeah, and then of course, come to another gate. <laughs> yeah, Johan said that he took on the Tet in Sweden, and he said that it's nothing like the Tet here. Like the Tet in Sweden, he says it's like a it's like a gravel highway that you can go like a hundred kilometers an hour on it. And like he's come here and he's like, what is this trail? <laughs> No problem! Thank you, my gate opener. Oh, look at this beautiful cottage here. Wow! Incredible. What a nice area. Back on tarmac, baby. Have a look there behind Levy on the hill. Completely raining over there. You can hardly even see the hills. So it looks like we're like right on the edge of a massive rainstorm, but it looks like at the moment we're heading away from it. Let's hope our luck continues, eh? Looks like we've got a gorse infested track ahead. Look at this. <laughs> this is quite a spiky plant as well, for those who don't know what gorse is. Oh, so. God. Oh, it's quite difficult track here. Eh? Yep. <laughs> I just stayed in the rut and just kept paddling along. Yeah, doing the same. And of course, there's a gate. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a dodgy one, wasn't it? Oh my god. That was hard. Yep. Don't hit the gate. Looks like the rain is actually getting closer, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh no. Man, I have no idea how Johan did this bit with his GS. Oh God. Whoa, look at this abandoned cottage on the hill. Our next renovation project, perhaps? It's a fixer-upper, I think. It's a fixer-upper. <laughs> so it looks like the rain is definitely starting to hit us now. I mean, look around. Here is supposed to be the ocean in front of us. I can barely see it. And look at the hill over there. It's not really looking very good here, to be honest. It looks like a pretty miserable day. So maybe it's time for a nice coffee break. Let's try to sit inside for a little bit, eh? Coffee shop open. That's what I like to see. Woohoo! Oh, look at this place. Hendra Hall. This looks pretty cool. Protect the equipment. Oh. Whoa, hello. Look at that. It's, this is the place everybody wants to sit. It's the table, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Ooh. Wonderful. Wow, Where are you heading? Continuing our way north um, oh on the Transuro Trail. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. We've been um, off bits over the last few years. We just came off of it now because it just started to rain like yeah. crazy. Wet. Right. It's really bad. You get big indentations and stuff. It's got grass. It's got all this mud. It's got stones, and it's just really difficult. A friend of mine tipped his bike over last week, and we literally couldn't get it out. Look at the size of these fake Oreos. They are giant neos. There seems to be a little break in the weather at the moment, sort of. We're going to eat this and then hit the road. Did you stall it again? Okay. I think in conditions like this, 
it is not a good idea to take this trail. Look, you've just got a big rocky slope and I can see it heading all the way up the hill in this direction. And we've still got crazy rain going on at the moment. All these rocks are gonna be soaking wet. Traction is gonna be terrible. So I think this is one trail that we're gonna to have to turn around on. It just does not stop raining, hey? So whilst the weather is really, really bad, we decided to come off trail to go and visit the beautiful little town of Port Merion. But now we're stuck behind this truck. The main road into Port Merion was closed. So everybody's taking this secondary road, but it is very narrow and this truck can barely squeeze past. And there's absolutely no way that we can get past either. Oh man. Oh, okay. Oh. Thank you. Yes. Yes. It's freezing through. Wow, look at this. Dudreth Castle. Nice. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, this is it. Yeah. So I had no idea, but it looks like the village of Port Merion has some sort of entry fee. So I don't know. We're going to have a little look and see what we want to do. We just arrived in Port Madog and look there's a steam train here. How cool is that? I think it's called the Festiniog Railway and it's a little train that runs from here Port Madog up to Carnarvon all the way through Snowdonia National Park. Beautiful. But we had a bit of a disaster to be honest because we saw a point of interest on the Tet route called Port Merion Village. I thought it was just like this cute little village by the sea and we could go sit in a cafe, get out of the rain. But when we arrived it was like a crazy big tourist place with an entry fee of like 20 pounds. It wasn't even like a real village, it's just like a fake tourist village. So it's basically just a massive tourist hotspot with a huge, huge car park. So we decided we definitely don't want to go there, pay 20 pounds and stand there in the rain. So we're just here in Spooner's Bar and Cafe and we're just having a coffee here just to get out of the rain for a little bit, see if there's some campsites that are available because Fingers crossed, it looks like the weather is clearing up and apparently the rain should be stopping in the next hour or so. We're gonna have a little look, see what campsites are available and maybe grab something to eat here whilst we wait. We could not resist getting a big pizza. Look at it, I mean, it's piled up with cheese. Oh my God. It's probably very hot. Oh, okay, no, it's hot. On a cold rainy day like today, there's nothing like a big, big, hot pizza. It's turning into a good day. <laughs> oh, 
All gone. <laughs> We're back outside and it's still raining, but we found a campsite which is only three miles from here. So we're going to head over there now. Reception. Reception, good. What a mucky day. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Good day for a bike ride. <laughs> Is it just tonight? What? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive! And look, the rain has stopped! <laughs> Finally! Thank you Wales, you've given us a break. So we've gone and set up our tent and we're just loading in our footage from the day. And again, this campsite is so amazing. We have like the best view of the ocean right behind us. And normally we have mountain views as well over there, but they are like covered in clouds at the moment. <laughs> today it was really really difficult I mean the trails without the rain are already very difficult for me but then combined with the rain it was nearly impossible at one point we just have to admit that my skill level is not high enough we had to like turn around and just find another route yeah whales threw everything at us today we tried our best but sometimes you got to know when to turn around I mean that rocky track heading up into the hills covered in rain but tomorrow the forecast is looking absolutely amazing and i'm super excited because that means that we can go and explore the snowdonia national park and all of the highest mountains in wales with hopefully beautiful sunshine i really can't wait and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time when we arrived here at the camp there was one guy he came he's like oh i have a pot of noodles for you and we were like oh sorry we just had like a massive pizza he's like oh do you want something else maybe hot water or something like this and we were like yeah that would be nice to have a nice tea we were drinking the tea and he came back and he's like guys i forgot to give you these ones short cake biscuits and we were like thank you that's really kind so we enjoyed a cup of tea with some nice cake biscuits shortcake biscuits <laughs> it's a cake and a biscuit at the same time